get my bass not stuck down here looking for somewhere to go and adding the wrong note. C, my G chords, and my F chords, and I love finger pick. Let's talk really quick about the F chord and how it's going to help you play songs like My Grandfather's Clock, let's say a lot of folk music, any finger picking that revolves around these chords. I'll show you some little tips here. When you're playing My Grandfather's Clock, I like to encourage my students to go back to basics sometime, sometimes and just find the melody. Let me explain. Oops. I'm glad that mistake happened. Let's talk about it. I play the melody, one finger, just to show you. A lot of these finger picking songs are so beautiful because the chord is really resonating through the nice wood in our acoustic guitars or electric guitars. And we're hearing this sound come out. And then the melody is sometimes just a few notes, like maybe six notes, that's it. So let's think about this. We're playing C. There's our, there, I'm holding C as I start this song. Father's clock. See how I did that? So that's working, but my bass note needs to change to a G right there. So I'm going to change to this way to get this D note as I can get my G bass up here. More than one way to skin a cat, everybody, but I encourage you to spend two to three minutes a day. Trust me on this. Challenge yourself. You're learning a finger picking song. Maybe it's one of the great songs by the great John Prine, or maybe it's a song that you made up that's in the key of C. When you're Travis picking and doing this style of picking, I challenge you, find that melody with just the few notes on the top of the chord. Then when you put the chords to it, your hand will instinctively, it's almost proven, know its responsibility and know what it's supposed to do if we train our fingers correctly. So, Holding a C chord, this pinky is responsible to get this note when you need C in your bass. When you need G in your bass, you can do it like this or like this. So learn what this finger is responsible for in two forms. Now let's go to the E string. We'll do this part a lot. High for the show, so it's been nice. So let's look at that. I'm holding a C bass note right here. No more fingers on the chord. And I need this zero one zero on the E string, my F note. So then we kind of just think about that. I've got a C bass note. Let's talk about that part. When we're going to the F chord, the dreaded F chord, let's say you're playing a beautiful song with C and G. When you go to F, finger it like that, everybody. Finger it like that, finger it like that. Here's why. A lot of songs go into the F chord hammering on to the second fret of the A string. My grandfather's clock, I love making it work. So it, so it said 90 years on the floor. Something like that. So if you're playing this F, there's no problem with that. Keep it up. That's great. But you may run into an issue where you're holding the F 
Now that hammer on to the second fret of the G string is interfered by the first fret because your fingers bar in here. So it's easy to conquer that lift up. But who wants to have to alter their F chord and make a sudden move? You could do it multiple ways. But if you play this F, you're already playing C. And maybe your G shaped like this. So why would you not come to this F which frees up the pinky. We talk about that pinky so much. The pinky needs to be free because our pinky is our melody maker. That pinky spells out these chords oh so well. So when we're playing this F, everybody, add your thumb to get the big F bass note. So if you're Travis picking, I'm getting my bass not stuck down here looking for somewhere to go and adding the wrong note. So the big tip of this whole lesson, I want to keep it short, I'm almost done. Play this F, keep this note on the bass. That's going to help you out. So spend time looking for that melody and literally go one bit at a time. in there, but playing slow, I'm just showing you the ideas. There it is. See, I give myself plenty of time. Then I got a big F. If you're doing this F, it's going to set you up for a quick shift to do the next thing. And if you're playing that F, more power to you. No problem. Go you. But I will, I find that a lot of beginners, including me, love this F chord. It's going to help you out and change your playing. Try it out. If playing this F helps you in songs like John Prine, In Spite of Herself, helps you play in some old Blaze Foley tunes, helps you play in My Grandfather's Clock, it helps you play in a lot of great acoustic folk, leave a comment below and let me know. Say, so, hey, this lesson helped me out, or hey, this lesson did not help me out. I'd love to know either way. Again, my name is Lucas. I enjoy teaching you guitar and giving you all kinds of tips at the studio. I love you, everybody, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Woo! We're teaching you how to read music through drills like these and regular progress checks. Take a look at this sample.